Hey everybody, my name is Eric. I'm the Chief Engineer for the Oshkosh S-Series. Today we're going to train you on how to use the joystick in the S-Series. The Oshkosh S-Series comes equipped with a multi-function joystick that controls the drum, shoots, charge hopper, and the transmission. The shoot control on the S-Series joystick is set up per SAE best practice. Moving the joystick to the left rotates the shoots to the left. Moving the joystick to the right rotates the shoots to the right. Pushing forward on the joystick lowers the shoots and pulling back on the joystick raises the shoots. The shoot speeds are preset within the software on the truck and utilize a multi-ramp control setup. This allows for controlled, minute movements for a majority of the joystick throw while also allowing for rapid movements when the joystick is commanded to its maximum position. If your truck comes equipped with hydraulic power chutes, the black arrows on the joystick will fold and unfold them. This button is momentary and will unfold or fold the chutes as long as the button is being pressed. To unfold the power chutes, press and hold the black button with the arrow that points forward or away from the truck. To fold the chutes, press and hold the black button with the arrow that points backward or towards the rear of the truck. When folding and stowing the power chutes, always remember to align the chutes with the rubber hanger to ensure the chutes do not extend over the maximum vehicle width. The yellow arrows on the joystick control the charge hopper throat. The hopper control button only needs to be pressed once to change the position of the hopper. When discharging concrete, open the hopper by pressing the yellow button on the joystick with the arrow pointing forward or up. To close the hopper, press the yellow button with the arrow pointing rearward or down. The status of the hopper can be seen on the overhead display. Note, using the load mode button or exceeding the truck's configured speed limit will automatically close the hopper. The left toggle wheel and red button on the joystick are used to control the rotation of the drum. The toggle wheel will recenter each time after a command is made. To move the drum in the charge direction or material into the drum, roll the toggle down. Each toggle downward will increase the speed of the drum one increment in the charge direction. Note that all the increments are not equally spaced. At lower drum speeds, the increments will be closer together to provide more precision control. At higher drum speeds, the increments will be farther apart. The target drum speed is indicated on the overhead display by the centered text as well as the green bars that each indicate one drum RPM. The drum speed can be increased by continually moving through the individual increments, or if the toggle is held, the truck will ramp through the speeds quickly until released. Move the toggle upward to decrease the drum speed in the charge direction. Once incremented back to zero, the drum will start moving in the discharge direction. Continue to push upward on the toggle to increase the drum speed in the discharge direction. Move the toggle downward to decrease the speed in the discharge direction. The target speed of the drum is indicated on the overhead display by the centered text as well as red bars that each indicate one drum RPM. When ramping through speeds quickly, the controls will require a release and re-engagement of the toggle before switching states from charge to discharge. This is to prevent any accidental change in the state of the drum and ensure the quick ramp was intended before switching rotation directions. Pressing the red pause button will pause the drum rotation while pressing the button a second time will resume the last known drum direction and speed. The overhead display will indicate the drum pause mode has been engaged. The S-Series joystick can also be used as a secondary transmission shifter known as the FNR feature forward, neutral, and reverse. This feature is very useful when small movements forward and backward are needed at the job site to reposition the truck. The right hand toggle on the joystick is used for this functionality. To enable the FNR feature, ensure the vehicle is stopped, parking brake is engaged, and both the shift pad on the dash and the right hand toggle are in the neutral position. Enable FNR on the driveline keypad. When the FNR feature is enabled, the driveline keypad LED will illuminate, as well as the LED on the right hand joystick toggle. This toggle wheel features a detent which holds the position selected. Roll the toggle upward or forward to shift the transmission to drive. Move the toggle to the center position to select neutral, or roll the toggle downward or back to shift the transmission to reverse. 
to deactivate the FNR feature, ensure the vehicle is stopped, parking brake applied, and both shift selectors are in the neutral position. Press the FNR button on the driveline keypad to deactivate. That's how you use the joystick in the Oshkosh S-Series. If you have any questions, contact your local sales rep.